Hello once again, Jose Rodriguez here. A while ago, I uploaded a video talking about whether we can actually exceed the capacity of the so-called waste ink cartridges for the 8550. I did an experiment earlier as well for the 15,000 from Epson. I'm always talking about Canon, so now we're going to switch over to Epson for this little talk about an experiment that we performed. Now, Printers like the Pro 1000, going back to Canon, also have a waste ink cartridge, but it cannot be refurbished in any way, shape, or form. It, they made it impossible. I can reset the chip with a resetter that's available, and that allows me to get a little bit more extra life. I can run it for a while again until I reach a certain level. Then at that point, I'm pushing my luck, and I remove it and replace it, and I hate throwing those things away in the trash. You know where they end up, okay? They'll be found by some alien landing in our world, say, 3,000 years from now. It'll still be there. Undamaged, by the way. Yeah, so here we are with the XP15000 and the Ecotank 8550. Both of those printers have what will save their life, unlike something like the Canon Pro 100. As much as I love it, once those internal ink pads get full, according to the counter they cease to work they are dead on the water and if you're lucky enough to find a shop that will uh, exchange those dirty pads diapers basically with fresh new ones they have to replace the complete printer out of the chassis and then exchange those pads it's a mess nobody wants to do that and it besides it costs like 200 bucks to do it if you get someone to do it for you then they have to reset the count it's a mess so why not have a user replaceable waste ink cartridge we are going to be producing and generating waste ink every time we run a cleaning cycle or every time the printer decides it needs to run a cleaning cycle it will do that okay on printers that have cartridges sitting on the printhead every time you exchange one you close the lid it runs a purge cycle and that ink that is generated goes into the waste ink pads or the cartridge now epson printers they're easy to divert the internal wasting collection to the outside canon printers no so i can actually divert my ink collection to a bottle and then i can reset the counter using a special tool again but we're not talking about that we're talking about user replaceable cartridges which is a wonderful thing i think every single printer should have that implemented in them so for fourteen dollars fifteen dollars you replace the cartridge but again i'm thinking wow i gotta throw that away it's made out of this plastic that'll last three thousand years you know no one's going to really recycle these things anyway they're full of pads saturated with nasty combination of all the ink in your in your printer so why not refurbish them well in order to do that because these things have chips you have to be able to reset the chip so in our two examples there are chip resetters available and i have the two for both printers right here where did i get those from rick johnson link in my video descriptions for his ebay store so Yes, you can find those elsewhere, but please support my friends, okay? They are small business operators, and they are here to help you with many things. He also sells you all of the requirements for your Pro 100 and Pro 200 refilling needs, as well as some other printers. Okay, so let's get back to this. So, the way this works, and I'll use the 8550 equivalent, is... You install this in the printer. This is an inlet port. Ink that is generated, waste ink, gets injected in there, and it begins to saturate internally the pads that are located inside this unit. So right now, it's empty. It just has pads, no ink in it. I reset that chip with my resetter. 
So now I can insert this in my 8550 and reuse it. So, but what did I do? How, how did I get to this point? Well, when it got to the point where it was almost, almost full, in other words, according to the indicator, I thought, okay, let me just reset this and put it back in. Those pads were still able to hold onto liquid. And another thing, this is open. It's an open grill, as you can see. Evaporation is occurring constantly. So just because, say, 20 ml of liquid entered in six months, that does not mean that there's still 20 ml of liquid in there. Some of that water from the ink base evaporated. So there might only be maybe 10 to 12 ml of dried up ink. In other words, equivalent so I thought okay so how many times can I get away with resetting this and reinserting it back in my printer how many lives like a cat can I get nine lives out of this well here's what I did I know what an empty one weighs and if you look at my video you will get the numbers there because right off the top of my head I don't remember so I know what it weighs empty, and I know what it weighed the first time I reset that chip. It had gained 12 grams of weight. That's equivalent, sort of, to 12 ml of ink. So I reset it. I figured 12 ml, that's not even a little syringe like that. So I reset it, I put it back in, let it run, and I noticed that it was reaching almost full again. I took it out. And this time what I did, because I had an extra one, I put an extra one in there, a new one, and I took my one that had two basic runs, okay, two resets, and I allowed it to gain another 12 ml. So now it was 24 ml heavier than the original weight. Follow me? So that is, say, times two, that would be 12 ml per load. So I loaded water and injected it directly here with the lid removed. And I'm looking at the top. I did this on video. And I injected oh, just around 10, 11 ml of water once. So that would be three runs. And I looked and I touched it, nothing. Another load. I got to nine loads before I said, wait a minute, the top is still not staining or barely staining my fingers. But then I thought about something, something that we had not thought about because we've been so hell-bent on getting as many lifespans out of this cartridge by resetting it and reinserting it into the printer that we forgot something very important. The amount of water that I had at that point was, what, nine times what it's supposed to hold, right? So... How can I guarantee that the very, very low pressure a pump that it uses to extract ink out of the printhead during a cleaning cycle and then pump it into this container, will it be able to pump ink when I have literally a fully, really, a truly fully saturated sponge set? Maybe not. So I thought, okay, maybe I over overstepped and the internal pressure of all that liquid may exceed the ability of that little peristaltic pump that pumps in the so-called waste ink the printer generates you would have a backflow and that is something you don't really want to deal with so here's my recommendation and you can get all of this stuff from rick johnson or other sources it's, it's up to you but again, like I said, please consider supporting the people that I support, okay? Just like you support me, please support the people that I recommend you support as well. So all of this is available. So if this costs OEM around $15, I believe it is, and I can get, say, easily, easily two lives out of it by resetting it, you got to buy a resetter. That's $30. And I think no problem getting five runs 
not nine, but five runs out of this. That would be five times 15. What is that? Again, five, 30, 45, 60. Gosh, uh, $75 already. Okay, that you have saved. Well, the first 15 you had to spend. So now you got a cartridge that is pretty well saturated. Let's, let's go ahead and stop at this point. You unlatch, there's some little keyways there. You need something flat, like a little flat blade or screwdriver, and carefully pry apart and take this lid off. You will then see pads inside. You remove them, keep them in order, because they are different shapes, and they have to be kept in the correct order. Or, this is if you want to get dirty. If you don't want to get dirty, you throw those pads away, and you buy a set of pads from... Again, from Rick Johnson, right here. And you just pop those pads in. Of course, clean the internal compartment a bit. Make sure that it's nice and clean. Put the brand new pads in and snap that lid back on it. Or if you're really brave or crazy like me, I took a bucket, like a big plastic bucket, and I threw the pads in there. Again, keeping them in order. And I loaded it with water, warm water. Oh boy, immediately, ink everywhere. Drain it. Again, the ink is biodegradable, so don't worry. So, exchange the water, and 15 exchanges later, I was still getting some ink oozing out of those pads. That's how saturated they get. So, at some point, I just said, okay, this is enough. The pad still looks stained, but it's, it's fine. So, I laid them on a smaller tray, on top of some paper towels and this is what came out of those pads but I said the heck with it just let them dry up and I will reuse them they dried up they look a little bit stained but nothing like this and so I put them back in here put the lid back on it this cartridge is now ready to be used and did I do a good job I waited and it weighs the same as the original weight when it was empty way back in time when I originally installed it. This is an OEM one. The one that I have there right now is a third-party cartridge from Rick Johnson. So again, if you play your cards right, this printer will last you quite a long time. And you really only have to buy one of these cartridges. As soon as you have reset this five times, that will cover the price of the resetter, in fact, more. And you have saved the environment somewhat because you haven't tossed five of these babies in the trash and you're able to then reuse it. I wish you could do that with every single printer out there. Some of them are a little bit difficult to um, refurbish. Um, the P800 is one that you can easily do and there is a resetter for that as well. All right, so that is it. Now I'm working on two of these cartridges. Always have one clean and one getting dirty, but my printer will not stop printing simply because one of these so-called wasting cartridges has been declared as full, which is really only realistically 20% of the capacity, safe capacity that is. All right, that is it for now. Thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe, share, and like, and remember to click that notification bell so you know when Jose uploads the next video. And then once you know that, you can watch it at your leisure. Please tell your friends who are interested in photo printing about this channel. And so, as always, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.